So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing functions in C. We have discussed all about functions, like some basics about function, three parts of function, what are three parts, function declaration, function declaration is also known as function prototype, function calling and function definition. And as well as we have discussed what classification of function, for classification with proper example, with proper program. So now I guess uh, it's right time to you know solve some uh, problems on function and the question I will take that that are of gate question. This question is of gate 2019 question right on functions. So two or three problems we will discuss here. I guess the basics and you know classification of function is clear to you. Recursion is left. Recursion we will discuss after discussing these problems right. Recursion also we will discuss. So I think you are able to solve these question fine. So we will discuss these question. I will show you practical also on my laptop like we were, first, first of all we will write on that this uh, problem here we will see what output we will get and then we will check we will tell your answer we will run that program on our laptop right now before that just want to tell you one thing if you are preparing for gate or will be preparing for gate 2022 exam then an academy is conducting a combat it's like india's largest weekly competition for gate aspirants so you can say india's largest scholarship test for gate and esc aspirants it would be on 12th of september so the questions are challenging and original gate questions curated by the best gate educators at an academy. So 20 questions you will get and time, time limit would be 60 minutes. So you can take it live, so better to take it live to compete with the best and here you can analyze your performance by checking your ranking against the others from all over India with live leaderboard that shows real time ranking after every question. So you will come to know where you are standing among the others, how your preparation is going on. You can assess your preparation in just 60 minutes. And one more thing, after every contest, detailed video solutions will be given to you by the top educators so that you can identify your weak areas and you can improve yourself so that you, you can get it right next time. And if you take it live, you, you will also get a chance to win some exciting prizes. So the detail you can see over here. And you can take this test for free. You don't need to pay anything to take this test. You just have to enroll for it. The enrollment link I'll put in the description box of this video and enroll using my code JKL10. Just click on that enrollment link and scroll down and pick the right test for you according to your branch mechanical, CSIT or what, whatever branch you have according to that you can pick the test and just click enroll. So now let's discuss this question. I guess you can easily first of all just note down this question, dry run this question, it's not like that, just note down this question and you know try to run this on your laptop and see what output you are getting, no that is not correct way, dry run this with your you know on your pen and paper, see what output you are getting and then uh, check on your laptop, run this on your laptop and ch check you are getting same answer or not. So here I am discussing this question, see here we have one function what is this jumble right, whenever the uh, no, you will execute this thing. First of all, control will go where to the main function, right? And some memory would be allocated to this main function because in main, obviously, we will have maybe some uh, local variables or something we have. So here, see, we have x and y two variable x and y. In x we have two, and in y we have five. Next line is y is equal to jumble y x. So here, this is what function calling. I hope now you can you know uh, identify which is function calling which is function definition which is function declaration here we have only function calling and this is function definition no declaration why because here we are calling this function and before calling we are defining this function so in this case no need to you know declare the function it's fine right now it is what function calling so i'm going to call this function jumble and what you are passing y and x question is tricky very simple but tricky question so y value is 5 and x value is 2. So we are passing these two values. So now control will go where? Here is the definition of the function. So control will go here. Now some memory would be allocated to this jumble function. Here we have two argument. It is what? Function with argument and with return type. It is returning also something, right? So now here also we have x and y. See the name of the variables are same. In main also here also, that's fine. Now, so now in x and y what you have? In x and y we don't have 2 and 5. Why? Because we are passing here. First of all we are passing y that is 5 and then 2. So now this 5 would be received by this x and this 2 would be received by this y obviously. 
So now in x we have 5 and y we have 2 in this jumble function. Now x is equal to 2 into x plus y. So 2 into x means 5 into 10, uh, to 10 plus 2 that is 12. So now in x we have 12 right here and return x. So it is returning x that is it is returning what 12. Return means now control will go where back to here where we are we are calling this function here means it is returning 12. Now we have something to receive that value that is y. So in y that 12 would be stored right and this y is where in main please don't modify this y. Now we are out of this thing and we are, once we go out of this these x and y are no more right. So now we have in main we, we are now in main so this y would be now 12 because it is returning 12 and that I am going to store in y. So now the next line x is equal to jumble this again we are calling the function right. So again when you will call again the control will go here again memory would be allocated to this function right and here we have now x and y right. Now we are passing y and x so y value is 12 and x value is 2. So now this 12 would be received by this x so now in x we have 12 and this 2 would be received by this y so here we have 2 right. Now x is equal to 2 into x plus y so 2 into x means 12 into 2 24 plus 2 or 26 now in x we have 26 return x now 26 would be return now return means now control will go here we are calling this function here right so now once control will go out of this means this memory has been freed now these x and y are no more now we are in main function here now control is here so now whatever this will return it is returning what 26 we are going to store that in x so now x become 26 next line is printf x we are printing so x value is what 26 and return 0 because see we are taking uh, the return type of main is int int means it will return something some integer value so return 0 that is it right if you write down here void no need to write down return statement so now x value is 26 I hope you got this question this was one mark question in gate 2019 so see simple question very simple but tricky you have to solve the gate question with full concentration right. So I guess you got this answer let me show you practical of this question. So see this is the question we have right now let me run this and I uh, will show you what output you will get. See it is printing what 26 so now x value is 26 I hope you got how this is printing 26 value right. So in the next video we will see one more question or if you guys want me to discuss some I know specific question then you can ask me in comment box on function maybe uh, that came into gate or in UGC net exam or any exam that you can comment you can I know write down in the comment box we will discuss that question in the next video so now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.